In 1997, 39 people, members of the Heaven's Gate cult, took their own lives in a Rancho Santa Fe mansion, believing a UFO would take them to a higher level of existence. But questions remain, including why so many people described as kind, educated, intelligent, would leave their families, even children, to join that cult in the first place. Tonight, a special two-hour edition of 2020 delves into that question and a whole lot more. And we are joined now by ABC News anchor Diane Sawyer. Diane, welcome. Thank you so much. Great to talk to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Good to have you here. And you have followed this story closely from the beginning. 25 years later, what kind of new insight, perhaps even empathy, are we gaining into what happened? Well, so many things were uncovered in the course of our returning to Heaven's Gate and to the intense mystery behind the curtains of Heaven's Gate. And we were able to find new tapes. We had audio tapes we had never heard before. We also talked to some of the followers who come out of the shadows to try to help us answer those questions. How did such highly accomplished people with so much promise end up spending their lives inside a cult? And also, are there ways to prevent it again? We also wanted to know more about the leaders. And what was this coincidence? What was this combination of vulnerability and the certainties of the leaders that led to what happened at Heaven's Gate? Diane, the families of the cult members who died, what has life been like them for them all these years later? Well, I think we can all imagine the anguish over all these years, first of trying to find someone you love so much who vanished, and you search and you search and you pray and you hope that you'll say the right word, somehow get word to them, and they'll return to you. And then, of course, to turn on the news or get the call. And you know that, as one of the mothers says, all hope is lost. Diane, of course, one of the reasons that it's important to do a story like this is the fear that it could happen again. In terms of working on this, how did you come away feeling about that? How easily something like this could happen? Well, we are told by all of the experts that times of upheaval when people are searching for new answers are invitations to those people who have certainties and they bring a kind of coherence to an incoherent world. And that's when you can walk in the door and not understand that what you think is community, what you think is love, is a disguise for something much darker. And how these people ended up entering a world where they were told to erase gender, sexuality, their private thoughts. And again, you have to remember how much promise they had to know what was lost in the moment that that happened. I know there are some never before seen tapes that you're going to be exploring as well as intimate audio recordings. What mm -hmm. would you say uh, you gathered? What new insights did you gain by looking at these? Well, first of all, we're able to see some of the followers as they first arrive. And you can see that they seem to think or feel that they're on a kind of retreat and they have little chairs, the ones you sit at when you're at a backyard barbecue and they're putting up tents and they seem to be so filled with celebration and then over the years you can watch as gradually gradually their their thinking is changed and gradually as i said these personal thoughts are being erased there's a kind of conformity setting in and then something intensely more dark begins to take place so you can watch all of this and see how it happens over time slowly slowly and then of course you know, it ends up in the beauty of San Diego. It ends up in the serenity and beauty of a place that could not imagine what was happening behind those locked doors. Given your description of their gradual change, are we left feeling like they were compelled to do what they did in the end or that they were willing participants throughout? Well, of course, it's such a, a, a central question in this. And we're going to let everybody at home look at both sides, look at what choice is, what the experts call bounded choice, where you are isolated and you have an intense catechism of information that you are receiving all day long. And at the end of it, is that choice or is it something else? And I think every viewer watching is going to feel that this is something that 
it's one of the mysteries, and it's one of the mysteries that we have to settle in our own minds. And you are right, Diane. This happened in our backyard here in San Diego County, and it has been a, a source mm. of horror and fascination over these many years. We are looking forward to the special, The Cult right. Next Door, The Mystery and Madness of Heaven's Gate airs on 2020 tonight at 9. And we thank you so much, Diane Sawyer, for joining us. Again, great to talk to you both. Thank you.